are probably my favorite shark, not just because every single one of them looks different, their spotting patterns are like a fingerprint, um, but they're, they're kind of our hometown shark. They're kind of a local emblem of the marine environment, and we should be very happy to have them. My name is Andy Nosel, and I'm a marine biologist at Scripps Institution of Oceanography and a professor at the University of San Diego, and I've been studying sharks since 2007. The leopard sharks that gather in La Jolla every year, they're almost all pregnant females. And so they like this particular spot because it's calmer than the surrounding areas, which also means it's warmer than the surrounding areas. And kind of like a lizard basking in the sun to warm up its body, uh, leopard sharks are basically warming their body by hanging out in the warm water. And we believe that's actually speeding up the gestation of their developing embryos. I'd say that November is a pretty good time to come out to see them, especially after the summer craziness dies down, October, November is good. The best thing is if you stay really still, they'll come really close to you and sometimes they'll just uh, swim underneath you and you get a really good look at them and they're just really beautiful sharks and super chill. We're very interested in trying to understand why some days we see lots of leopard sharks and other days we see very few, and why some days the leopard sharks are one place and the, another day they're in a different place. So to answer this question, we're doing uh, daily drone surveys. Uh, just the drones are flying on a program mission and we're stitching together all of the video and uh, photos that are being taken and we're trying to piece together this puzzle. What's amazing about these sharks is that it's the same sharks coming back year after year. We've been tracking these sharks and for at least three to four years straight, we're seeing the same sharks coming back. In fact, you know, we often hear the term shark infested waters. I think we gotta be really careful about calling these waters shark infested because that's their home, that's where they live and you can't infest your own home. Once my sister, she had one right in her face and um, the shark got more scared of her than she was scared of it. But my dad touched one once. These leopard sharks are completely harmless to people. They do have teeth, but they're very small teeth and they're specialized in eating things like crabs and octopus and small fish. So we're pretty lucky that we have these in our backyard and we should never be afraid of them. The leopard sharks are definitely the, the, the star of La Jolla Shores and you can see all these other species in other places, but this is really the only place where you can see so many leopard sharks right along the open coast, very easily accessible to everyone.